Hello, thank you for having me back. My name is Sarah and I'm from England. And I've been a comedian for seven and a half years and in that time I've been recognised twice and both times I didn't have my knickers on. Yeah, I don't know what that means. But the first time was about three and a half years ago. I was in the changing room of a swimming pool. I was just taking down my underpants and a lady behind me asked my bare bottom, are you Sarah Pascoe? And because I'd heard my name, I automatically turned round. <laughs> but the difficulty of there with your pants is that you can't pull them back up again because then it looks like you're a prude, but you can't take them off. <laughs> it's too loose. You can't be like, yes. <laughs> so, uh, so I just had to stay there frozen while we had a conversation about jokes. And the only reason I've remembered this is more recently I got a letter from the doctor inviting me to a screening of my cervix. But ooh, how exciting! Who shall I take? And um, the lady doctor, she was just about to go in, but then she popped her head up and said, are you that comedian? So I don't know what she saw down there. And obviously, I was really embarrassed, so I was like, yes. And she went, oh. And then just carried on going. And I was lying there thinking, that is not the correct response. Where is my compliment? If you recognise someone, you're supposed to then say something nice, aren't you? And say, can I have a photo? And I'd say, not right now. And then she'd go, ha, 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 ha. Oh, that's why you're a comedian. But she didn't say anything, which made me think probably, just if she had nothing to say, maybe she just doesn't think that I'm very good at comedy. And then I really hated her while she had her hand in my vagina, which was a very strange feeling that I hadn't had before, apart from with about five guys. Um, <laughs> I haven't had children. I'm 33 and I've never had a baby. I have had a tapeworm, but <laughs> it's not the same. And I'm, I'm a cliche now, because the longer you go as a woman without having kids, the more people talk to you about it. And I'm aware that people are kind, that it comes from a good place. They don't... Basically, my friends and my family who have had children are having a wonderful time and they don't want anyone to miss out. But my problem with this is that that wonderful time they're having is subjective, isn't it? It's personal to them. Like, I've had wonderful, like, pleasurable, subjective experiences. Like, I've been on QI, yet I have never, ever said to anybody, oh, have you been on QI? Ah, <laughs> oh, you should go on QI. <laughs> no, no, I didn't think that I wanted to be on QI until I was on QI. <laughs> and then it was like I looked back and my entire life had all been leading up to me being on QI. <laughs> I saw Stephen Fry's face for the first time. I was filled with so much love. And yes, it's very tiring being on QI, but it's so worth it. And I just wouldn't want you to leave it too late and they'll have stopped making it. <laughs> Do I? Thank you so much for having me. I hope you enjoy your festival. Bye bye.